Trackers of Faith, featuring Duke and Luke, the Barn Brothers, Penny, the cold crack and tech savvy gal who is quick on her feet, Walker, the big hearted handyman who uses his mechanical know-how to lend a helping hand, Jenny, the fun loving biblical brains of the operation, and Milton. This super sassy swine has been fitted with the latest in animal communication technology. Join this crew of high-tech heroes as they sow truth, know truth, and grow truth. Trackers of Faith! Well, my bags are packed. It's almost time for me to leave. Say it isn't so. You've been the best guest we've ever had. What with the cookies and the breads and the... And wisdom. Well, I was going to say cinnamon rolls, but okay. Mom, are you sure you have to go? Unfortunately, yes. But you can still think of me and the things I taught you when I'm gone. For example, Penny, you're in charge of baking from here on out. You may share bread with the people who visit the farm, or with people God brings to your mind, or even with your close friends here during special dinners. Speaking of a special dinner, will you stay for one last supper? I think I can do that. Even Jesus had one last meal before he left his disciples. Last supper? Like the one Jesus had? Oh no, Miss Hilda, this doesn't sound good. This will not be like Jesus' last supper, don't worry. When Jesus had the last supper, it wasn't your standard end of the day dinner. It was the last supper Jesus would have with his disciples before he was arrested and crucified. Oh, well that's a relief. Maybe we could visit? I can always use a reminder about Jesus' last days. They changed everything. I'm in. You have no idea how much I've looked forward to eating this Passover meal with you before I enter my time of suffering. This is my body given for you. Eat it in my memory. This cup is the new covenant written in my blood, blood poured out for you. Do you realize that the hand of the one who is betraying me is at this moment on this table? It's true that the Son of Man is going down a path already marked out, no surprises there, but woe to the one who betrays me. Let's fast forward just a little bit. After the Last Supper, Jesus went to pray at the Mount of Olives. While he was praying, the disciple Judas came with Roman soldiers and kissed Jesus on the cheek. The soldiers knew that they needed to arrest whichever man Judas kissed. In that moment, Judas betrayed Jesus for 30 pieces of silver, just like Jesus foretold at the Last Supper. After he was arrested, he was tortured, beaten, and made to carry his own cross up a hill. Then he was crucified. It was horrible. As he hung on the cross, the whole earth became dark for three hours. It was a total blackout. The temple curtain split right down the middle. Jesus called loudly, Father, I place my life in your hands. Then he died. He could have saved himself, but he didn't. Jesus suffered all of that for us so that we may experience forgiveness of sin and new life. Wow. Can you imagine how much God loves the world that he sent his one and only son to give us a whole new life where we don't have to be apart from God? He carried his cross even though he had done nothing wrong. Today, we don't have an actual cross to carry, but we do have to let our sinful habits and desires die and put them on the cross. Three days later, Jesus rose from the dead and death was defeated forever. Talk about a rescue plan. No kidding! <laughs> Okay, Mom, let's go make one last loaf together. Milton, are you drooling already? Maybe. Have you tried this bread? It is so good, and I haven't even eaten at least 30 minutes. 